Hello and welcome to highlights of stage seven of the Tour de France fam. Avec Zwift yesterday on stage six. It was the second stage win of this year's race for Mariana Vos. This time in the Maya Jean of race leader. The 10 second bonus means that she leads Sylvia Persico and Cassia Nuvia Doma by 30 seconds. But Longo Borghini, Vollering and Van Vloyd to some of the big pre-race favourites all in the top 10. Julia Borgstrom took over in the white jersey as the best young rider. She led Julie de Vilde by 14 seconds, but the danger rider had to be Shirin Van Anroy of Trek Segafredo in fourth. The fans have been out in force at this year's Tour de France fam Avix with a couple of non-starters today. Marlon Reusser of SD Works after a bad crash yesterday. Also the Italian sprinter Raquele Barbieri. But what a stage the riders had ahead of them. An absolutely savage day in the saddle. 127.1 kilometers from Celestat to La Markstein. The putty ballon early on in the day followed closely after by the Colter Platzer Vassal through the finish line for the first time and heading out up the Grand Ballon climb to really conclude things. 7.2 kilometers from the top of the Grand Ballon to the finish as a climb. An absolute uh, monster. 13 and a half kilometers in length, averaging 6.7% and you can see their maximum gradients of 8.6, 8.5 right up towards the summit. Very short descent and then that run into the finish. On the first climb of the day, Annemiek van Vleuten went on the attack. The only rider to stay with her was Damy Vollering, who took maximum points in the Queen of the Mountains at the summit. With 66.1 to go, Elisa Longa Borghini was chasing hard. She was sitting at 148, but the gap was growing to the front two on the Col de Plaza Vassal. A chasing group behind, containing the likes of Cassia Nubia Doma and Cecily Uttrup, Ludwig Vollering dug deeper than she ever had before, but a kilometre from the summit of the Col de Plata Vassal, Annemiek van Floyter went on the attack. It would be a long solo break. Vollering did everything that she could to try and get herself back up to Van Floyter, but the gap grew as they head towards uh, the Grand Ballon climb. The gap was over three minutes and just under six to Longo Borghini, who was being reeled in by the Cassia Nubia Doma group. Evita Muzik of FDJ Nouvelle for Juroscope had put in a big turn for Cecilia Trip Ludwig. One of the revelations of the season, Sylvia Persico, who had gone into the day in second, just started to slip off the back of the group. Longo Borghini was caught by Nubia Doma, Labus Trip Ludwig. And Erska Gigart at the head of the race, though. Van Vleuten was time trialling her way to a famous stage victory. Nuvia Doma's pressure split the group behind. Only Labus and Utra Ludwig were able to stay with her. Longo Borghini and Persico would combine behind Von Vleuten crested the summit and would enjoy her ride in towards the finish. An iconic day through the mountains, perhaps like Mariana Voss, who had held the jersey going into the day. Probably one of the only prizes missing in the career of Annemiek van Vleuten. A Tour de France stage victory and with it, the yellow jersey of race leader, Dami Vollering. A real battle that she put in today. Crossed the line in second and she would sit second in the general classification. Already a stage winner in this year's race, Cecilia Trip Ludwig in her Danish champions jersey came home from fourth ahead of Labus and Nubia Doma. A mountain stage victory that clearly will go down in history. Annemiek van Vleuten takes it ahead of Damie Vollering by 3.26. Utra Ludwig at 5.16. Labus, Nubia Doma, Persico, Ziga, Muzik and Roy Akers, your top 10. With one day to go, Annemiek van Vleuten pulls on the Mayo Jean of race leader. What a show she put on. She leads Damie Vollering by 3.09. 4.20 to Nuvia Doma, but that podium still a real battle. Labus, Utrup, Ludwig all still within striking distance. Persico, Longobogny, Musique, Garcia and Chabé, your top 10. Second on the stage, second in the general classification, and now the leader of the Queen of the Mountains classification, Damie Vollering, leads Annemiek van Vleuten by one point. Femke Heretzer drops to fifth. 
Sharon Van Anroy came in in the blue jersey of the best young rider in the Women's World Tour and swapped it for the white jersey as the best young rider in the Tour de France Femme Avec Swift with one day to go. Another great stage race for the young Trek Sega Fredo rider. Stage 8 is another monster of a stage. 123.3 kilometers from Lure to La Super Planche de Belle Category 2 climb early on the Ballon d'Alsace. But what can we say about La Super Planche? It is an absolute brute. 20% and 24% at the top. Could it be a day for the breakaways? But for Team Bobby Star and Annemiek van Vleuten, we know that she will want to take the stage win at La Super Planche de Belfi in that yellow jersey. It is going to be an absolutely brutal stage.